Silver demand is sky high right now, guys. Sky high. And if you're sitting on a pile of silver, and I mean a pile of silver, is it time to think about cashing in on some of that demand? I want to discuss that in this video. Stay right there. All right, guys, welcome back. Once again, my name is Silver Bitches, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about silver demand is high. So is it time to sell? Well, it depends really on what you are holding. If you are holding a bunch of silver that you purchased in the past at a very low cost, you might want to think about taking some of that silver and selling it. Yes. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of stackers have stacked for a long time, a long time. I've had people comment on my video saying, hey, I've been stacking since the 70s. And if you've been stacking that long, then you have some very low price silver in your stack. And right now the demand is, is just sky high. It's way up there and people are just paying whatever you put out there i mean literally people are putting stuff on ebay and people are bidding way over for it that's the surge that's going on right now people are just in fomo right now they're willing to pay no matter what it is just to get the physical side of silver and i understand that because a lot of people you know they weren't you know awake at the time they weren't they weren't looking at what was out there you know what I mean? They weren't looking into the future like most stackers have. Most stackers have been putting away because it's a hedge against inflation. And that's what silver is. For the most part, silver is an industrial metal. Okay? We can all probably agree to that. I would hope we could. Because most of the metal that's mined for silver is used for industrial. That's, that's just a fact. Now, the silver price that I'm talking about is the premium price which is what everybody is willing to pay now if you're sitting on a bunch of american silver eagles right now that you purchased in the actual 14 dollar price range so you probably paid maybe 16 dollars for those silver eagles like these right here you can make a good penny off of that my question is should you do it now and yes i think you should I don't think you should sell your entire stack. That's not what I'm saying. But I do see some positives in it. And one thing that we know, guys, is silver and gold, they always go up in a, a crisis. And that's what we are looking at right now is we are in a financial crisis also. And the demand has skyrocketed because it is they are considered the safe harbors. They are you know safe assets where you can put or hide your money to keep it to actually hold its value and that's what silver and gold does for you and that's why most of us stack it that's the whole reason why yes it is beautiful it is gorgeous to look at but there is another reason why we stack it and that is to preserve our wealth and right now it is actually doing a much better job if you just keep that money in a bank because right now you're not getting any interest off of it whereas if you are if you've bought silver or if you've bought gold, you are seeing a very positive outlook on your stack. Not in the spot price, but in the demand price. The demand price is what is actually driving up the costs because so many people are trying to get in now because they weren't stacking when it was the right time. They weren't putting away metals when they should have been. And I came late to the party, but I have enough already to where I feel confident and comfortable with where I'm at. Now, I'm sitting on 300 and I think 26 Silver Eagles, and most of them are in BU condition. Now, all these right here in front of you, they're all coals. So I'm not going to get that wonderful, beautiful price tag that a lot of people are selling for. But if you're sitting on a bunch of BU Silver Eagles, I don't see a problem with cashing in, guys, and just holding on to that cash, keeping it in your reserves for when the demand does go down. 
Because once the demand goes down, the prices are going to go down. You see what I'm saying? And then that's when you invest. That's when you buy in bulk. Now is not the time to buy in bulk because right now it is a seller's market. So whatever sellers are putting their silver out there for, they're getting either close to it or right at it what they're asking for. And it's crazy to think that, but that's what's happening. That's what's going on. It's the, the price difference, the spot price difference and the physical are completely out of whack, completely out of whack from the norm. And now is a great time to sell some, not all, but some of your silver. And just to put that into perspective, stuff like this right here. Everyday run of the mill junk silver, right? It's going for right now, it's going at $20 an ounce. Seriously, $20 an ounce for junk silver. I never thought that I would see that. But that's what's taking place. People are desperate in order to get in. And right now is the time to sell some, not all, but some things that you don't really care about. Things that you don't really hold a whole bunch of value in. Uh, it's, it's a great time to, to liquidate some of your stack. That way down the road, you can put things in your stack that you do care about. Things that you are willing to keep. Like this right here. It wouldn't bother me not one bit. To lose this piece right here not one bit and people would pay 40 plus easy close to 50 for this two ounce coin or round that's what's going on right now people are are you know they're in fomo they're just willing to pay whatever because you have pumpers out there saying hey this is what should be going on you have uh dealers out there who are just holding their inventory and say oh we got this in now it's such and such price. That's what's going on. That's what's taking place. And what I mean by dealers is, is I mean like your major uh, online dealers. You know, they're charging pretty high premiums. But you know what? They wouldn't be charging those premiums if people weren't paying for it. So why just let them cash out? You know what I mean? Why just let them take that big piece of pie? If you have, say, well over 500 ounces, or if you bought silver when it was dirt cheap, now is a great time to consider it. It's a great time to consider it. And it's also a great time to consider selling your gold. It really is. Because you've been told, hey, you know, if you buy fractional gold, you're just going to lose money because of the premiums. Well, I bought these for probably 150 each. Right now, they're selling anywhere between $200 and $215 a pop. That's a good way to go ahead and make your premiums back, if you know what I mean. It's a great way to do that. And flipping it and then holding your cash until a better date and time to buy is a great way to add to your stack. It really is. You could actually add more ounces than when you sold before. And that's what I try to preach on my channel is, is to you know make good conscious decisions to actually think about what you're buying instead of just buying. And whenever you do make an investment, such as your Silver Eagles, you know, people say, oh, I'm not buying them. Those premiums are way too high. I heard that back whenever I did buy all my, my Silver Eagles when they were cheap. And guess what? They were wrong. <laughs> so just remember that. Remember that whenever you're buying this stuff, whenever you're making that investment. And yes, I think of it as investments. I know some people don't. But whenever you're putting your money into something and you're holding it, it's an investment. It doesn't mean it's a great investment, but it is an investment. And that's one of the reasons why I think the demand is sky high is the time you sell some. Not all of it, but some. Because I think it's actually going to go higher than what it actually is now. I really do think that it's going to take off within the next six months. I think silver is really going to take off. And I think gold is... I don't know what gold's going to do, to be honest with you. But... I, I do know this, and I've said this in, in other uh, comments around, you know, YouTube. Gold was was too expensive 10 years ago, okay? It's too expensive now. Where is gold going to be in 10 years? 
I guarantee you it's going to be too expensive then too. So that's just food for thought, guys. That's just a little, you know, side piece right there. Take it as you want. But to me, gold is the, is, is the ultimate goal for me. So if I can turn some profit from my silver and turn it into gold, I don't see a problem with doing that because gold is the ultimate hedge. It's the ultimate uh, keeper of wealth, in my opinion. And that's really what I want to actually move to once all of this settles down is I want to really get into to gold and making some nice, solid gold purchases along with my silver. I'm still going to stack silver, guys. So that's, that's, I'm not just 100 percent switching out. I'm just telling you. But that is my ultimate goal is the gold. And yes, you can just buy gold now. Yes, absolutely. But like I said before, silver is a conduit, man. It You can take the profits from your silver and you can turn it into gold. I know that may sound crazy to some, but it actually is bearing truth now. It is actually happening because people are selling their silver. And if you look on forums, on Facebook, Instagram, you name it, people are selling stuff. It's out there. You just have to look for it. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Remember, be careful, be courteous, keep grinding on your stack.